time and effort did it take to put this together from your end? You're hosting this wonderful you event. Know, from, from my end, really not all that much in the sense that I really want to be able to say that it's the people who, who work at this kinds of stuff 365 days a year. This doesn't happen by, you know, by, by itself. So for me, you know, I come, I represent this organization, I'm a supporter of this organization. I mean, it, it, it's all great, but, but, but really people should understand that it's these people behind the scenes, you know, people who really do the work. So, I mean, I'm, I'm proud to represent them. I mean, I know what it's like. I certainly can bring uh, the understanding of what it's like to be a parent of a child with autism because I am one. But beyond that, um, it's a no-brainer for me to show up for something like this. I know you're a big supporter of our troops, but why the military families in particular for you? Well, well first of all, because they, they, for me they comprise America's finest. I mean, you're talking about people who have uh, decided to do service for this country. Service men and women, some of them injured with, with, with catastrophic injuries, let alone those who have died. Mm -hmm. So you're talking about people who literally have decided for a profession to put their life on the line for, so we can live in this country and so we can do things like this. So, so for me to support the military is like, that's why this particular organization has a real significance for me because it combines those two things, you know. We're supporting our uh, military families and military families with children with autism. So these are two things that I'm passionate about and so it, it's, it's, that's why I'm here. Tell us a little bit about being a military dad and having a child on the autism spectrum. It's it's kind of a, a difficult thing and has extra challenges, yes? Um, more so than, than what I ever expected. Um, being Her being on the spectrum is the reason I'm in the military. Um, uh, that was back in the day when healthcare wasn't readily available for people with pre-existing conditions, so I, I joined the military so that I could make sure that she was taken care of. Um, so having to sacrifice my time in order to make sure that she was okay, that was the, probably the most difficult part of it. Um, but it's, it, it, it's been a blessing in disguise because I actually see her more now than I did before. So it's, um, and, and, and along with my other daughter and my wife, we, we family time because we're kind of new to the area and we don't know a whole lot of people. It's every time. So when I'm home, that's what it is. And when you move from different places, is it hard to restart up services? It's virtually impossible because you have to do your research. You, you have to plan ahead and know where you're going and then start looking for what's going to be there and what kind of services you can, you can find when you get there. So um, it, it makes it much more challenging, I think, to do that. But um, they're there and you just have to dig. It's your daughter, correct? Yes. That was recently at the the Act Today and Joy Travolta Film Festival. Yes. We, we have a, a clip of her talking. She looks cute as a button. She is. Uh, <laughs> Nancy, argue with that. Nancy says that Hollywood is waiting for her. Is that correct? Um, and she is patiently waiting for Hollywood <laughs> as well. But yes, she is absolutely um, enjoyed her time and, and just wants to do nothing but that. She's just she loved it. Um, she liked being around uh, other people and, and, and being able to spread her version of joy to everybody else. And, and, and she's just, um, and, and those who have met her and, and have seen her, they, they know exactly what that is. The biggest challenge is uh, being in the military is uh, having to be away from our family for long periods of time. Um, I recently just came off of a two year department head tour on a submarine, fast attack nuclear submarine. And out of those two years that I was on board, I was probably underway on board the boat just a little over a year. And let alone when I'm in, in port, you know, during the week, I I'm, I'm, might be away or I'm still working 10, 12, 14 hours a day. So for somebody like me, it, I don't get to spend a lot of time with my children and be there to help out and make sure they're getting the services that are provided. So it all falls onto my wife, uh, their mother, and um, that's the biggest challenge of all because, um, you know, two parents, it's tough, tough enough just raising normal children let alone uh, a child with special needs and oftentimes it falls even onto one parent which makes it more difficult so that's why um, it's, it's necessary to have programs like this that can focus on uh, military families and, and help provide them the services that they so need. I think most autistic uh, children, um, adults, or whatever, they all thrive throughout the film and video. Um, I think they all have kind of a knack for it and so when my son was able to uh, participate in this event, um, one, it was great because he was able to bring his sibling, his older brother Evan with him too, so he felt more at home with that. Um, and you know, uh, Inclusion Films, Joey Travolta, and Act Today, they all just brought everybody together. It was a big, it was, it was basically like a large family and, and having fun and, and shooting video and learning, learning the ins and the outs, but having fun at the same time doing it all. Yeah.